Hi, this is Mike Henriksen from O'Reilly. I'm here at Strata in London with Andrew Grinalds. Andrew, how are you doing? Good, good, good to be here. So, how have the conversations been for you this week? They've been really good. Um, it's a pretty wide range when you look at it. Um, everyone from people just sort of investigating big data all the way to pretty advanced Hadoop use cases. So, it's been pretty great to talk to everyone out here. And so, it, the customers are here, good conversations. What is it they're learning about you guys? What does MapR do? And what is your unique position sure, in, the, in sure. the data space? Well, they're learning about why MapR is the best Hadoop distribution. The and best? Yeah, okay. absolutely the best. Um, I mean, MapR was born um, from really directly from the source, from the, the origination of, um, of MapReduce at Google, and um, took the open source project, hardened it, and made it ready for the enterprise. And they're really learning about the, uh, the unique advantages that MapR has. And so where do you think they'll be uh, seeing MapR go in the future? Well, I mean, they've already seen where MapR has been in the past couple of months. Uh, now it's a partnership with Google and also one with Amazon to distribute our product um, directly OEM to the consumer in the cloud. Um, I think they're going to see more um, from a technology leadership point of view and then also, on the other hand, from a, a mind share um, increase. So, Pretty excited about what, what the future has in store for MapR. So, what, do you, what is your most common uh, vertical, is in industry vertical? Is it uh, banking, finance, media? It's, it's actually cross all of those, oh, uh, yes. all those use cases, and, and you really see every, everything from digital advertising to genomics. Um, it's it's uh, pretty remarkable that MapR has created a platform that can both handle um, small data. So, in, on the hand, on the one hand. Um, programs and custom code that's been written for schema-based systems all the way to um, big data type questions that you'd like to ask. Because not all, um, not all big data problems um, and not all software problems in general need to be fit into the big data type mold. Some, of the, some questions are perfectly fine being answered on the, the type of systems that are already been in production for 20 years. But on the other hand, um, trying to fit big data questions into you know, small data systems it just doesn't work. Yep. So, Andrew, I hope we see you guys in New York and yeah. uh, We're very California and on. Thank you. Great to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you.